You know, I seem to remember my parents, uh, they quit buying me remote control cars because I always took it apart. <laughs> A lot of years, they'd buy me these these neat little remote control cars. They would break, and, and I'd have to take them apart to fix them. Or I just took them apart to take them apart. So they stopped buying me RC cars. And uh, I'm telling you this because uh, I'm about to make a modification to the, to the train. Right now, you may notice that the, uh, the connection bars slant down and every one of them does it except this one this is how it's supposed to be straight across so what i'm going to do is the first step is to adjust the length of this this does not need to be that long so we're going to bring it back here and we're going to cut off this this section right there out of it so that's one thing that'll shorten it up a little bit and then we can move this up here so it comes straight out it sounds really simple but uh, it's a little complicated so we'll get back to you with the next clip
done. I love things that are just boom, done. I think it's a lot more level. Actually, they're pitched up just a little bit, but I'm not complaining because before they were pitched down a lot. And uh, I had set out actually only to uh, knock off just a little bit of the uh, of the tongue, and the tongue was like four inches longer. But uh, then I decided, since I'm going through all this trouble, might as well relocate the the uh, hitch point. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, the cars actually track a whole lot better because before. Um, when I would do a circle, the cars were getting, I don't know how to explain this. The cars behind me were increasing the radius of the turn. They weren't following closely behind me. You know, like if I make a, uh, uh, a 30 degree turn, the, uh, the cars behind me would eventually end up using a 25 degree turn. So that's how that works. But now it tracks a whole lot better and, uh, I'm excited to get some riders on here. Let's go.